In this video I'll demonstrate how to import time series data into PCSwim and export it back out again. To begin with, let's open up an Excel file and we'll copy time series data from that Excel file. I'll just select the entire worksheet and copy it to the clipboard and go to PCSwim and click on the paste button and since PCSwim doesn't recognize the time series um, it'll pop up a paste special dialog in which I can identify the columns. So in this case, I'll tell PCs in the first column is date and time, and the second column are our values. Now you can choose to enter a function. Um, there's a drop-down list of common functions, but you can type in anything that you want here because PCs supports any type of function or units. And again, similarly for the units. Now I'll enter a name for this location, and I will then tell the program to skip the first four lines so we start at the beginning of the data. The delimiter is tab, um, which is because it's copied from an Excel file. And the date format um, defaults to the operating system's date format. So if you're importing data with a, a date format that's in a different format, then you can specify or tell the program the date format there. Uh, click on OK, and the time series is imported and dis is displayed in the graph panel. Um, and now it's a clipboard object and so we can very quickly save that um, as a TSF file which is a PCSIMS native time series file format which makes it easier to bring this up again in the future. So I will just call this um, example time series. Click on save and now if I wanted to reopen that it's very quick to reopen that. Okay, now if we want to use this rainfall time series to drive a swim model, you can create a time series object in the time series editor for swim um, by creating, by moving all of this data across, or if you wanted to simply run a particular event, you can select the event. And in either case, you would go to the options menu and choose add to time series editor. And um, there it is pulled into the time series editor and you can see the data and it plots the data for you as well and provides a description with the function and the units. Okay. Now if you want to bring time series back out of PCSwim, say the results of a swim run, uh, let's clear this graph and we'll choose um, let's say some flow time series and we want to bring this into Excel. Actually, why don't we plot a couple of different locations so we can see how that works. And let's copy this to the clipboard as data. Go back to Excel, create a new worksheet, and paste that data in. And uh, there you have our date time column and our values. Okay. Now, if you wanted to uh, bring this data into PC Swim, but you just had a table of values with no date timestamp, you can also do that as long as it's a constant time step. So for example, let me just select a column of data here and I'll copy that to the clipboard and go back to PC Swim. We'll clear out our graph and we'll paste from the clipboard again. And in this case, it's just values I have. So let me just tell the program it's a value and it's flow, and it's cubic meters per second, and um, I can't remember what the location was, but let's just say it's C5, um, and click on OK. And since I haven't specified any date information or time information for the time series, you get to specify the starting date and time and tell the program the time step. Click on OK, and the time series is pasted in that portion that I copied from to the clipboard. And that's a quick overview of how to uh, bring data into PCSwim and export data back out of PCSwim as well.